We're back with another hot edition of Junk Food Wine Pairing, where we're pairing wines today with the big three. And the big three, I mean, Macca's, Hungry Jacks, and KFC. Let's get snacking. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the best day of the week, isn't it? Um, how often do you guys eat junk food like takeaway, like Macca's, Hungry Jacks, KFC? Who's asking? <laughs> probably more, more often than right. probably should. Yeah, I yeah, reckon you may. Yeah, probably. I'd say at, at most like twice. Twice a, a week. Day. Week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How often are you drinking wine with these said junk food? Ooh, less often. I'm a weirdo though. I think we're, we're very similar in this respect. I make a lot of my eating decisions based on the wine that I'm having first. True. So booze first, yeah. and then everything else is second. So, interestingly, I sort of do the same thing, but it's if I've had heaps of wine last night, I usually have to have fast food the next day. So it's a so delayed pair. It's, yeah, it's a delayed it's pair. A de oh, that's, that's interesting. It's a hangover <laughs> pair. <laughs> so, do you guys know what wine to pair with the big three? The big three? No. Macca's, <laughs> KFC. Uh, the big three, of course. The big three. The big three. I, right. I, I, it has the question hasn't crossed my mind before. <laughs> uh, I'm interested to see where this cool. is going though. So, <laughs> we're going to start with burgers. We're going to do cool. burger, we're going to do burger pairings. And, yep. the, and the big three. There's all, each each. So KFC, Hungry Jacks, and Macca's have their three main burgers. They're fast. So yeah. for yeah. Hungry Jacks, Whopper. The Whopper. Mm. Iconic. And look at how absolutely whopping it is. Right. Ba -ba -ba! Anyway, yeah. moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Whopper. Very cool. Very cool. All right, classic. agreed. Classic burger. Now, the classic God burger. So, from the Big M. The Big M. The, the Golden, Golden Arches. Arches. We've got, of course, the Big Mac. Big Mac. Now, which ironically is smaller in width than the Whopper. See, I think that they're battling for verticality because it's, that's a taller yeah, burger than the Whopper. Yeah, this is taller. Is if you can look at them side by side. Look, that's, that makes the look, the fucking Big Mac look absolutely minuscule. What is the third one? Oh, uh, we've got KFC. KFC. So, the yeah. Dirty Bird. The Dirty, dirty bird, bird. The absolute... Oh, man, this is this, this is awesome. hangover special. This is like <laughs> dust bowl city limits. Um, so we've got uh, the double tender. I, I thought double it was just going to be like an original recipe burger, but they don't have an original recipe burger. So it's the double. Sorry, no, tender. We're not, we're, they absolutely they don't, have an original. They don't have. We an original looked on the list. We, looked, we, tried. we ordered it. There's yeah. nothing. This is what they got. They the got double the finger tender. and the double tender. I'm just telling you, the amount of comments you're going to get being like, you don't think there's an original recipe burger from KFC? Well, it definitely exists. Then, not on their then, app. Then KFC, yeah. get it on your app. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Send it what Doing, man. Uh, we, we tried. So we're gonna do the quick little unwrap. Interesting to see this is the paper, the classic paper. Interesting, yeah, that, that they box up the other ones and KFC doesn't uh, still on that sort of wax line paper. Now, honestly, <laughs> out of these, <laughs> it doesn't, it's not well, looking good. There is a reason why we put them in boxes. Yeah. All right, let, let's let's get into actually trying these freaking burgers. Yeah. Cool. Let's right. do it. Ready to go. Burgers are served, and we've got four wine styles. So we've got light, crisp white. We've got a textural white. We've got a light, juicy red, and then we've got like a big, rich, dense, dense red. So this yeah. is all about pairing wine style to burgers. Wait, what are we gonna start out with? Let's, go, let's grab the white first. Yeah, what, grab a what? All right, all right cheers, team. Cheers. Happy Monday. Just realised I'm definitely gonna have to put my hair up if we're gonna be eating all these burgers. This is gonna be insane. All. <laughs> so what you? So how's your? Pick, what does your picking theory apply to? Does it apply to Whoppers, Big Macs? What are we talking about? Well, one of the things that I tend to to look towards when pairing with anything is acidity. Mm. Trying to match these acidities and be able to have have them be as fluid as possible. Okay. Um, See, so interesting that the two people who know things about wine have instantly gone for the red, uh, for the whites. So I was thinking a light red was gonna be my jumping off point. Do you reckon it's because of the the beef? Because of beef. Mm. Yeah, Bink throws that. That's actually really cool. Oak doesn't work with this. That's one thing I will say. Oh, no. Oak. That's it. That's it? Yeah. That's definitely it. That light red. That's it. I'll definitely vote that an oaky textural white and burgers is definitely no bueno. I think these two are better, much sort of more superior matches yep. and that pickle is really, really nice. All right. Stay light. Don't go heavy. Keep away from Oak. Keep it crisp, lean, acid driven. Big Mac next. Big Mac next. Let's go. 
Mac is probably winning here with the burger quality. It looks pretty good. With the presentation. The, the quality is well. fantastic. The presentation is fantastic. I mean, like, been doing, Ronald knows what he's doing down there, man. I'm telling you, like, he's not going for the light white. No, mm -hmm. the oaky white. I want to give it a chance, you know, because. Reasonable. I want to know how much of this is that I like light, like light reds and light whites because they're really sort of readily approachable. Ooh. Actually, that works really better. well. Which a little bit better. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, the amount of cream and cheese. Mm. Was the Whopper has no cheese. That's probably a crucial piece of information. That's not the Whopper with cheese. That might oh. change. This is bog standard. This is bog standard. It's very interesting that, yeah, I think the cheese is definitely the thing that's making yeah. that so much, uh, so much more, this one, the second uh, oaky one, more appealing than the leaner one. And what is also doing the trick is actually the, the distribution of pickle. <laughs> it is, yeah. Because the Big Mac sauce has got cut up pickles all the way through it, so there's pickles everywhere, whereas in the Whopper, they're individual little whole pickles kind of everywhere. Yeah, I think it's definitely, I think you're absolutely right yeah. on that one. The, the acid with the sourness of this yeah. versus the um, the straight pickle, no bueno. But this is like lower acidity enough to like really make the pickle brighten the wine up a bit more. So, so basically, distribution of pickle to the power of cheese equals Chardonnay. <laughs> 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 is that what we're talking about here? Yeah. Yes, all right. Yes, as awful as that, <laughs> that sense statement is, yes. Yeah, um, okay. So, Big Mac, fleshy, oaky white, Chardonnay number, anything like that. The Dirty Bird. Thank you very much. Again, passing the yeah, oh, But I'll get yours then. Oh, thanks, the yeah. Everyone right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a bit of a theory I'm trialling with this light red here. Thinking we're talking about chicken, we're talking about poultry. Talking about things like cranberry sauce. Okay. Maybe not associated with chicken, but definitely with things like turkey. Other birds. Other birds. Understandable. Bigger birds. Um, and I'm vibing with it. I don't think it's actually, I think it's a very uncouth match. I don't think it's very, what, well, like symmetrical. <laughs> the Vermentino. Oh, the, sorry, the light white, I reckon, is the winner. Mm hmm. Because it's, it's a bit lazy, but it's all stainless steel, so there's no real oaky interaction. So the pepperiness of the mm. chicken with the mayo and all that actually really and works really well with the. Look mm. at mine. I tried the big heavy red, quite enjoyed it with the chicken, so real opposite opinion here. I'll try the light white, give that a crack. I don't like that very much. It's a bit much, it's a bit peaky. It's a bit, then it? Over the top. Oh, no, you're absolutely right, that slabs. Well done. That's yeah, the one. No, I withdraw my hat from contention, that's sick. We've actually done quite well here. We've actually done really well nice. here, too. <laughs> that, that Big Mac with that oaky, that oaky white, yeah. the, the creaminess of the yeah. cheese. And the pickle, the pickle. Don't forget about the pickle. Actually, really interesting observation. You can get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Like these, everyone would assume, hey, every burger's the same. There's going to be one one ruling mm -hmm. wine that would go with all of them. Yeah. And in fact, there's definitely these not. Three, these three burgers, completely different wines. They're completely different wines. We're going something with the, with the Whopper, we're looking at light, leaner, cleaner, meaner styles of wine. Oh. We're going a little bit more generosity with the, the, the Big, Big Mac. Mac. Yeah. And back over here, poultry. Well, you know, there's, there's the out. rule, right? It's yeah. the, the, the rule is like light, sort of slightly textural yeah. whites. Lean into these sort of poultry vibes. It's amazing how much it seems like we would have planned this out, but this has happened so organically. Like because you know you've all got we've all got different opinions about wines. And I stuff honestly like that. thought we would have just been like white red with all three bags. Yeah, bags. Yeah, yeah, but no, no they're definitely completely not the different. Case. Definitely not the case. And we're done. And we're done. And on that note, uh, next time you get. A Takeaway, if you're getting Maccas or Hungry Jacks or KFC, now you know what wine to get. That's what you need. Absolutely. But we need to figure out what else. Because you don't just order a burger. Yeah. No, we don't just do it with the burger. So sides are coming at you. Sides. Rail sign. <laughs> <laughs>